Welcome back. Got something new today. We're starting work on the bodywork for the Nova. I know a lot of you are quite frustrated because I'm jumping between the Cleaver and the Nova, but fortunately I've got stuff to do and I've just got a lot of stuff to do and it'll get done as I get it done, you know. Thankfully, if you've seen the last video, I don't know if I've posted the last video, but the Cleaver's passed its MOT now, so that's all good and... I will be taxing it probably tomorrow, first of the month, um, and then I can give a start and give it a rundown, a bit of a shakedown, and that. So anyway, for now, anyway, that's one side. We're getting on with this today. What I want to get done, I want to get some wing vents in, so I can, because these are just like massive parachutes, you know, when they're when they're driving. So yeah, there's that. I'll show you how I get it done. First of all, got to, as you've already seen, I've cut the hole. I'll show you cut the hole. Let's cut the hole. So, not very exciting. Unfortunately, we're quite squeezed for space down this side of the car. However, so what I've done is, well off camera because a bit of woodworking made a book for it for the shape of the vent so what the plan is let's just get you where we need you to be there so what the plan is we take the book we just pop it in there at the right place where we want it once we get it right um, and then just fiberglass all the inside now as you can see from the shape of the book so basically, that'll be the outside of the wing, that'll be the inside of the wing, I'll have a slight chamfer on, and then this back bit here will be the mesh for the wing. So that's a fair size vent, as you can see, we're gonna have in. Um, so first things first, before we get on with fiberglassing, what I'm gonna do, I mean, I could, I should really be bodyworking this and filler it and paint it, make it absolutely smooth and mint, but to be fair, for something I'm gonna use once and then throw away, there's no real point. Um, I've obviously made it double-sided, so we can use this side, and then we'll flip it around for the other side. But all I'm gonna do for now is I'm just gonna cover it in, in well, whatever tape I've got, which is duct tape at the minute. Um, I'm gonna try and cover it in duct tape to make it a little bit easier to release it from the resin once I get it resined in. Um, and then we'll go from there. I'll do it this side, because I've already done the other side first. So what I'm doing here is, all I've done is I've just mounted the block in exactly where I need it, where I want it to be, so that these, the chamfers as it were, were lined up with the edges, so we'll get the recess right. Blocked it in so that it's got a bit of firm. All I'm gonna do now is literally just start laying fiberglass up on the inside of here, just to firm it up. Once I've got the shape of this firm enough, then I'll take the blocks off. This will hopefully hold its place, and then it'll just be a matter of bombarding it with layers and layers of fiberglass just to, um, just to reinforce it. So we'll get on and get that done. Basically, you get the idea, so all I'm doing is just building up the layers. I've got three layers, we'll say, on that, we'll call that, say, one session, as it were. I think from memory on this side, I think I put three, three separate sessions in of the, the thinner stuff. This is 150 gram chop strand mat. As you can see, it's a bit thinner than this stuff, which is quite... See, that stuff's quite coarse. That's 400 gram, gram strand, that. That's 150, you see, so it's quite a difference. So, yeah, so what I do is build up a few layers of this because it's got a finer strand so that it's not as much print through on the other side when I come to actually fill it with um, skim with filler. Whereas this stuff here is stronger, but it's, it's quite a coarse finish. So I'll give it sort of three sessions with this one and give it one session with this um, 150 at the minute. I think on the other side, when I pull the wing off, I'm gonna give it one full full piece of mat on the back of the um, of the 450 gram 
TSM, I think that's the way it was anyway, yes. Uh, so yeah, all I'm gonna do is just keep building the layers up on that and uh, hopefully we'll get, a, we'll get a good result out of it. Just carry on. So, um, I mucked up a little bit last night after the camera was off, just literally last thing before I went home, I figured it was dry enough to actually be able to take the book out. Um, the book is literally just a matter, I took the door off, screw out, screw out, took the screw out of there, screw out of here, and just slid the book out like that. I'm happy to say it hasn't actually come out too bad. Let's have a look, we'll just... There we go, so... Got, I know that's just a very thin cover in there. It was just to basically give it a little bit of strength and hold it in position. You can obviously see where the two strips were, so I need to get them filled out. But it's good down the inside, it's got the detail. That we needed. So it's got the the little edge here and it's got the edge here. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take the grinder, I'm gonna clean this edge up, try and clean the inside edge up a little bit because obviously where I've blebbed it over with the fiberglass putty first, where I've blebbed it over with the fiberglass putty first, I've lost that edge a little bit. Once I've done that, cleaned up all the loose raggy edges, um, what I think I might do is actually take the wing off the fiberglass from the inside and get a good, uh, good coating on. Let's get this ground back. As you can see, straight away is a million times better. Um, Again, you can see inside there, you can see the, the detail. Got quite a bit of wiggling and working to do to make it similar to the other side. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I think, take the wing off. I'll tape this up over here to get this edge. I'll take the wing off and I'll put another couple of layers of fiberglass on the inside just to get as a, make it a bit more solid so I haven't got that flex in it there. Um, then once that's done and I've got this shape and the bottom shape, then I can concentrate on getting the back right. But yeah, so if that's the next thing, the next we'll pop the wing off and uh, we'll go with that. Yeah, so you just pretty much get the idea. I just keep on building up layers and building up layers till I get the desired effect. This one, obviously I'm trying to match the other side, so this one's been a little bit, a little bit difficult to say the least, but as you can see there, just a rinse and repeat job. I keep adding layers and then take it away. Um, eventually the hope is to get it a little bit more like this side, which as you can see is starting to take shape now quite nicely so yeah that's the plan and that's about it that's all we've got time for today um yes yeah, so all i'll do is i'll just keep working these in the background you see it's starting to get the shape there now it's just going to be a lot of tedious adding filler taking filler away adding filler taking filler away until i'm happy with what i've got ultimately the plan is obviously i want to deal with this right, get my shot lines right, I've got to do a little bit of work for the headlights around the fronts for the wings, but again I'll probably just plot on off camera and do that. Um, I want to get the wings into primer both sides so I can just put them upstairs out the way, don't forget about so that we can hopefully in the next month or so get a start on starting to do this engine in the back, actually make some proper progress. Um, as I say, this was only this is only a temporary stop just while I was waiting on a few bits and bobs coming in. I've got pretty much most of it in there now, so soon it'll be time to just start prepping up on my welding skills. <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. So, um, the next couple of weeks might or might not put a video out, I'm really not sure. I'm, I've got a couple of car shows coming up. I might do a video on one of the car shows, I haven't decided yet. Um, if I do, I'll upload that. If I don't, then, you know, 
sorry, but you know, I'm trying to, trying to enjoy myself as well, trying to enjoy life. It's not, this isn't a business. I'm not making money off it, so therefore I do it when I want to, how I do it. Um, obviously, I do like to keep you guys informed and in the loop and see, so you can see what's going on, but it's not necessarily always the case. Sometimes you've got to take a little bit of, little bit of Tony time, you know. It's all good stuff. Anyway, uh, by the by, yeah. So, as I say, that's all I've got time for this week. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys the next time. See ya.